Hello, I'm the Media Whiz, because one art form wasn't enough. Well, what are we going to be reviewing today to start off the new year? Steve, if you think I'm reviewing that, you've got another thing coming. But Wiz, come on, it's just a funny little video that's going to get people back into the sway of things. Come on. Well, screw you, all right? I'm not doing Sanchu. I made a vouch to myself. I'm not doing Sanchu ever again. You can't make me. I don't give a crap. Get someone else to do the review. I don't care who it is. Get just somebody else to do the review, all right? I'm not doing it. If you need me, I'm going to the rec room to listen to some smooth jazz, all right? Just somebody else for the review. It's not me. It isn't me, man. It's not me. Okay. The comic, which doesn't have a cover page, properly begins with Sancho and Rosachu in the kitchen. I had a great time last night, sweet bolt. Me too. I enjoyed having your seven-inch lightning rod inside me. Yeah, that's a great way to start. And then their son Robbie enters the room. Daddy, what's a seven-inch whitening wad? I can show you tonight, partner. Then Chris pops up telling us that Sancho is not a pedophile. Oh yeah, sure, he's not a pedophile. You know, just like how PETA from Hunger Games wasn't a pedophile. A very derpy-looking Magichan telephonically tells Sanachu that Mary Lee Walsh and the Jerk Ops are attacking the mall, and Sanachu says he will be there after he's done breakfast. Ah yes, because as we all know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So much so that it's actually more important than helping people in danger. At the mall, Sanachu talks to the cops who can't take care of four Jerk Ops. The police can't take out four guys. Really? You just get out your nightsticks and crack them across the face. And they can't take out the Jerk Ops even with the help of the Power Rangers. Hey! You do not bring the greatest hero since the Ninja Turtles into this shit! Sanchi then teams up with Wild, whose lower half is brown and not green. We then see Reginald talking to Robbie about the 7-inch lightning rod thing, and Reginald shows off his crotch to the kids. Okay, I really wish I made that up, but I didn't. It's actually in the comic. J just look. I did not make any of what I just said up. Rosachu then shows up and tells Reginald to calm himself and to go upstairs, and she also tells the kids to go watch some Family Guy. Yeah, because Family Guy is totally a kid show. Now look, to the author it might be, but the harsh reality is Family Guy is a show rated TV-14 or TVMA. So yeah, it's best not to show it to your kids. Rosachu then talks to Reginald, who then reveals that him and Angelica haven't been intimate in months. That doesn't justify showing your wiener to children. She then calms him down by quoting scripture. For the Bible says that the lips of an adulteress drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil, but in the end is bitter as gall, sharp as the double-edged sword, her feet go down to death, her steps lead straight to the grave. That was the best part of this entire comic. And then Chris tells us not to have premarital sex. Then Sachu and Wild defeat the jerk ops off screen. You don't want to blow it with an off screen death, okay? Look, in porno, we call this the money shot. But Sachu has to fight Mary Lee Walsh, and after he slaps her, she just leaves. This comic would be really different if it took place in the inner city. It would end at 12 o'clock in the morning with pistols and blood on the pavement. But it seems Mary left some bombs in the store, killing Angelina and D D Bubbles. Damn, I can write better. Now it's not even that smart! Magichan then tells Reginald about how Angelica is now dead, and instead of having the common reaction of holy crap, my girlfriend is now dead, he immediately thinks he wants to hook up with Rosachu, and it doesn't help that Magichan's immediate advice is to go get a blow-up doll. Well great, everyone in this comic is either a dick or an idiot. God, it's like watching a bad horror movie. We then see Wild with his daughter Sandy on her way to school, but she's hit by a car driven by some dude who's texting. That would be like if in the middle of this review it just cut to- an anti-texting while driving PSA. Wait. So, Sandy's dead, and at the funeral, Sanchu calls up his Spanish lesbian housemaid. It's a little oddly specific. And she tells them that the kids are dead from drinking bleach. Shit, people in that last Harry Pothead book didn't die as much as all the people in this comic book is dying. And with his daughter dead, Wild then shoots himself, and Rose Chu then suffocates the last of her kids who has brain damage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile, Sanichu is drinking at a bar, and as he finds his way home, he then talks to Rosichu about a divorce. And yet their relationship is still better than Edward and Bella in Twilight. That, that's still a popular joke, right? The truth is, I can't stop blaming you for the death of our three babies. I resent you leaving that bottle of drain cleaner where they could have reached it. I told you a hundred times to put it in the top shelves where they could not get into it. Robbie and Christine died, and Sarah suffered three weeks of being a drooling slow in the mind. And who knows what kind of pain she had to suffer because of your negligence. I have to be honest, Rosichu. Every time I see you, I don't see my wife, but the woman who killed my kids. I don't want to share a bed or my life with you anymore. And this comic ends with Chris giving us yet another lecture about lust over love, and I will promptly skip that. So that was Sonic 2 issue 13. And as bad as it was, it's still not as bad as issue 12 or issue 8. The artwork is worse than the previous issues, the characters are even stupider and more mean-spirited, and it feels too damn harsh for a proper finale. But that's kind of why it works. I mean, it's so morbid and dark, it actually kind of feels funny to me. So yeah, this comic sucks, but hey, it's the official end of Sonic isn't it? I'm the media whiz, because one art form wasn't enough. Oh, by the way, it's not a real comic. Yeah, Chris didn't make it. Just some guy on DeviantArt. So yeah, this entire thing was a joke. Yeah, 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 yeah.